Hello friends, today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is political science, its definition and origin, right? So political science, when we look at its origin, we have to see many other things in connection with this. The word politics comes from the Greek word polis, which means city state. Therefore, from the very beginning, politics comes to be related with the state, I mean that is a city state. The great Greek philosopher Aristotle first used this term in his book called Da Politics. Aristotle began his observation in politics by saying that man is by nature a political animal. So we can see how Aristotle was predicting, you know, that man by nature has to be a political animal. Thus, Aristotle is rightly regarded as the father of political science. Politics was considered as a master science by Aristotle. That means what? You know, it covers all aspects of our life. It used to cover all aspects during those days. The term political science, when it comes to the modern period, it was coined by the French philosopher Jean Baudin in the 16th century. Since then, the words political science and politics are used interchangeably. Right. Between 16th and 20th centuries, political science or politics was not understood in a sense I mean, in a broad sense, that it used to be understood by the Greeks. During these centuries, it was simply considered narrowly as a science or a study of the state. Right. Many of the writers have described political science or refer to the nature of an ideal or a perfect state. They used to, you know, refer to a kind of an ideal state in those days. Now, when we are talking about definitions in regard to political science, we are going to put it in two categories. One is traditional, one is modern. First of all, we are going to discuss the modern, traditional one. According to Gurner, political science begins and ends with the state. Paul Janet, another political thinker, says political science can be defined as that part of social science which treats of the foundations of the state and principles of the government. So what we see in these definitions, they're basically dealing with only two subjects. One is the state, other is the government. Third definition, let us have a look at the third definition. Gatling, another political thinker says, political science is the historical investigation of what the state has been, an analytical study of what the state is, and a political ethical discussion of what the state ought to be. Right. Another one, P. Jenks, he says, political science as subject, which deals with only state and government. In fact, he's in the line with the garden. Right. And again, Willoughby says, Generally speaking, there are three topics with which political science deals with. What are these three topics? Willoughby says these are state, law, and government. Now we are, we'll be talking about definitions of modern time. In this category, Kathleen says politics is the study of political aspects of organized human society. According to Wasby, another thinker, to some, politics involves power, authority, and influence. Harold Laswell and Kaplan, these two thinkers say, politics is the process of shaping and sharing of power in society. Robert Dahan, another American thinker, uses the term political system for politics, and he defines it as any persistent pattern of human relations involving to a significant extent of power, rule, authority, or 
control. Finally, Max Weber, another German thinker and sociologist, he defines politics as a struggle for power or the influence of those in power. Right. Now, when we look at these two, you know, what we see, the traditional view, what this traditional view exactly, you know, emphasizes on. Traditionally, the term political science is used to refer to the science of the state and government, right? The advocates of traditional view say that there is a difference between political science and politics. The former refers to the science of the state and government, the latter, I mean, political science indicates the study of the current issues faced by the government. In fact, party politics is central focus of politics. Many thinkers like Lord Acton says that political science is concerned with the state and the conditions essential for its development. Finally, we can say that political science is a study of the organization and functions of the state and government along with theories, principles, and ideals for them. Now let's have a look at the modern view, what it says. From the subject matter of state and government, the modern thinkers have shifted their attention to the study of power. In this, philosophers like Machiavelli and Thomas Hobbes were pioneers they only started this approach. Primarily, the focus was on power, its location, how it was exercised or abused, how the people reacted to it, etc. They dealt with these kind of aspects. Behavioral thinkers specifically challenged the traditional concept of political science, I mean the study of the state and government typically. They refused to accept the distinctions between political science and politics. They especially, the American thinkers employed new concepts like political system for studying politics. However, the power view was soon found to be defective by many critics. It was argued that only legitimate power should be the basis of the acceptance of the government by the people. Thinkers like David Easton added a moral function to the exercise of power by asking for the authoritative allocation of values for the society. Some authors like Waspy, Vernon Van Dyke, Sir Ernest Bell, Quincy Wright, etc. are of the opinion that controversy and conflict are also essential parts of politics consensus and general arrangement of society were also considered essential parts of politics. Right. Now, some of the thinkers, again, they have gone beyond and say that politics is concerned with man. Hange Eulen says that notion of politics does not come from heaven. It is purely a human venture centered in man and created by man. Professor Harold Lasky of London School of Economics Frame says that the study of politics concerns itself with the life of man in relation to organized state. It deals with human beings in an organized society. That means human beings are placed in the context of an organized society, not in an unorganized society. Many others argue that politics is the study of internationalism, which is necessary for bringing world peace, welfare state and cooperation. So now, finally, it views politics as a study of performance of institutions, their interactions and political behavior of so friends, for today, this is what is political science and its definitions of traditional and modern time. I'll be bringing lots of topics in this regard and the entire syllabus of political science in my video. So thank you for watching my channel. Kindly watch my other two channels also. Number one is Dr. Markhan Saikia's talk on foreign affairs. 
other one, the Tomakan Psychic Stock on National Affairs. Again, once again, I would like to say thank you to all of you those who are watching me. Thank you. Bye-bye.